and now we just got off a boat um, and we're going to tour the Aran Island this morning. Um, our tour director is super nice and arranged for us to come here even though we usually don't have tour at all um, until April. have to wait forever um there's only 800 people on this island so they're not like they don't have a ton of huge restaurants so sam and i got our tickets early and we decided to walk up to i guess it's a port and it's kind of nice right now because the wind is literally just pushing us right up the hill but we're gonna go and see the view up here we're supposed to have really good views of like cliffs here and then we had our bus driver, I'm out of breath, our bus driver gave us a bunch of like fun facts or whatever and um, all of these like walls that they have built of like rocks, the original purpose for them was just because there are rocks everywhere and they needed to put them somewhere so they just started stacking them and they're kind of like walls everywhere now. But that's our update, we will see you from the top. out of here and I just want to take like a moment to say like how cool it is to experience something like being up here and like this whole trip just being able to like decide I want to like go and do something and then randomly like, going to Ireland and then having it all like paying it off over a month and then just going and not having to worry about like anything like it's insane being able to see this stuff and I'm like I'm a photographer like that's like you know part of how I make my living and so the fact that I'm like up here and I'm, I don't have my big like fancy photography camera I don't have like all of my lenses with me I literally left my lens on the bus so I can like go up here oh, I'm so nervous my camera's gonna fall <laughs> um just be here and like see how pretty this all is because like the GoPro doesn't have a flip screen I can't see it I can't mess with settings like I literally just push a button and go and like it's just so cool to like be here and be like blessed enough to have like wanted this for myself and then made it happen for myself. Like, you know, that's awesome that I'm like at a point in my life right now, like before I start grad school and before I start super big in the job, like that it can just happen. And I think I think that needs to be said that if you wanna do something, you should just like 
do it yourself. Stan's over here in the corner coming <laughs> up on the edge. <laughs> Ooh, I'm creeping up. Like I don't know how to stand up. But that's what we wanted to say. Because I think it needs to be said sometimes. On to the rest of today's vlog. Alright, we're headed back down. I'm telling everyone as they go up that they're not prepared and it's the best because honestly I think like that was one of my favorite things. I feel so changed. <laughs> um, but Laura, if you're watching this, like that was perfect. That was a perfect thing to do the last day because it was like better than anything else so far. It was awesome. Absolute favorite. All right, we're finally eating after waiting in such a long line, but I've been saying the whole trip how I want a cake so badly. So I have a chocolate Guinness cake here. Sam has one too, but we're having dessert before, yeah, lunch. Potato al gratin and a salad for lunch today. That's what all three of us ended up getting. Okay guys, so we just have been going around looking for like little shops and stuff. Um, I got a scarf for my grandma. It is so cold here. <laughs> um, but we are on our way to one last souvenir shop. We did end up getting hot chocolate in another little shop. And we met this really cool, the guy who like owned it and ran it. Um, he just talked to us about all this like history and stuff. And we were there for quite a while and he was super nice, but his hot chocolate was so, so good. Like it wasn't too hot. They had a bunch of like cream and foam on the top and it was delicious. But we are on our way to the last souvenir shop now. All right, so I just finished shopping. Um, I got my dad a little ornament thing and then I got myself a really cute knit hat that I wanted. Um, we're back in the docks right now. It's getting windy and cold again. I'm going to, other than this, we're just going to get back, have an hour boat ride, and then I think like maybe 45 minutes on the bus, I don't know. But I will talk to you guys when we get back from the bus and everything, and back to our hostel, and then we have our farewell dinner tonight. So that makes me sad, but I think 10 days is a good length for a trip, for me personally. <laughs> Because I kind of miss my bed, I miss all my pillows. I only get one pillow a night here, and it's very hard for me because I have five or six pillows on my bed at home, and I'm just spoiled with my pillows. But I'll talk to you guys when we're back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end my vlog for today. Um, I will still plan on vlogging tomorrow for like the airport and getting home, and then I'll do kind of like a trip review and if I'd recommend it and all of that stuff. But we're about to go to our farewell dinner. Everyone's finishing getting ready now. Yeah. Maryland. 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 Um, we're about to go to our farewell dinner, and I don't really want to bring my GoPro. I just want to kind of go and hang out with everyone, and I don't really know what I could show you guys that would be entertaining hey, yeah, there. Really so, um, <laughs> what? Strippers. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm ending the vlog for today here. If you want to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can check out my whole review of the trip. It's coming out tomorrow, but for you guys, it'll probably be like a week away because it's gonna take me a while to edit all these. I have almost probably 500 little clips of video that I have to go through, so it's gonna be a minute. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.